Welcome to Canada the Studio. 729 and hardtails considered the worst by their owners. That's the today's topic. We are here on the mtbr.com website. Uh, it's gonna be a short episode. As for myself, Canada, you know me, I like talk about talking about bikes. Um, I certainly don't take any responsibility on what's written here, but I personally do read those comments, those reviews, because those happen to be much more helpful quite often than the official websites of those manufacturers. Uh, I was only taking into consideration the reviews with at least 10 owners, like here we have, for example, 23, and the bikes that wouldn't be older than two, three, three years. Uh, so let's just start with the first one, Trek Superfly. I'm going to show you how to read those reviews and uh, what will be the conclusion. Uh, Trek Superfly Hardtail, that's the one I did test in Novo Mesto on World Champs. It was a really good bike. Uh, and as you can see, if nothing happens with the bike, people are happy with this one. But there can be some issues and then people would say that Trek Corporation, that's the weakness. You know, this owner um, cracked the frame and he doesn't say that the frame is weak, but the Trek Corporation that, uh, you know, wasn't really handling the a warranty claim in the really good manner. So read this one. It was 2015, so should be the new model. Uh, and of course, read through all those reviews. Uh, yeah, there is also some guy that got the, the wheels uh, already uh, defective. And once more, it was difficult to deal with the track um, uh, with the track um, company. Uh, so, you know, when it comes to some warranty claims, that's when the, when the brand will show you the level, the, the, uh, the value, the real value of the customer service. Trek Superfly 29 can be problematic and the warranty claims can be a pain here. Uh, so the next one, Specialized Hard Rock, that's the budget bike. Uh, it's got 3.75 out of 5 stars or chilies, uh, $580 and how to read this? Of course, there can be some people when, you know, the, the chain snaps, it can happen with any bike and they are unhappy with the bike, you know, writing many nasty things and then they, will, they would only give a one chili out of five. So that's not the review you're going to be really taking into consideration, but there is many people uh, writing the same stuff. So you're going to be looking, searching for the uh, you know weaknesses that are being mentioned repeatedly like here cheap pedals and the drivetrain and you know the cheap pedals can be dangerous even many people would uh, mention here cheap pedals uh, so dangerous bike if you don't replace a lot of components so read those comments really uh, seems like um, uh, specialized did try to save too much money here on the budget bike budget bike should be it will be heavy but it should be working well and of course 100 percent safe for you so that's something you really want to read about that specialized hard rock 29er the next one once more specialized we'll have three actually stump jumper expert we have once more people happy with the bike when it's okay it's you know it's it's being uh it's doing well in the terrain but then uh, some people say that the frame can crack. This one was 2013, so it's a, an older model, uh, I believe. Uh, but just read what happens when the frame cracks. It's good to know about more about uh, those uh, carbon bikes. Uh, so Specialized Stump Jumper Expert did not get uh, too high of a, uh, of a um, rate here. The next one, Trek Wahoo, is a 579 budget bike. Once more, you should be looking for those uh, things being mentioned repeatedly. That's components, that's the gears, and people say that the drivetrain, especially the cranks or the chain rings, are being worn down too quickly. Once more, low quality of some parts. Shouldn't be like that on $580 bike. The next one, Trek uh, Marlene, also 650, so it's still kind of entry level um, budget bike. Some people happy, uh, I'm always looking at those who are quite unhappy with the bike, but they would, they would say 4 out of 5, but still, cranks, pedals, tires, 
um, see this terrible and so on and so on. Read those things. Many people not quite happy with Trek Martin here. Cannondale, sorry, Cannondale Trail SL. Uh, and it's true, when you look at the frame of the Trail SL, uh, comparing it to like FSI alloy, you will see the difference. You will see that somebody took less time, spent less time uh, actually doing this bike, producing it. There will be people happy with it. Pedals, once more, brakes, once more here. Uh, and there will be quite a few people saying seat, pedals, grips, squeaky brakes, um, we'll have here lazy gear changes since new. Uh, people also uh, mentioned that um, the bike wasn't really assembled well. It happened to me as well with the Canada CAD 8 uh, when I just got my left crank arm loose on the first ride. So saving time on producing and and <laughs> assembling the bike for the uh, for the customers shouldn't be like that on the bike like Canada Tra Trail SL on any bike actually. And the last one, once more specialized thumb jumper. This one is Comp um, model, and here we'll have uh, some people saying that this frame is just weak, weak frame, and this is from 2015. So, uh, I'm not going to be reading all those infos through, uh, I think, six minutes or seven minutes is just enough for you guys. Uh, I do read comments from mtbr.com, this is of, of course not a sponsored video. We'll do also the worst uh, full suspensions, but then we'll do the best hardtails and full suspension bikes as well. Thanks for watching, give me some infos on the comments if you've been reading, uh, riding any of these bikes, what do you think about them? And we'll have even more complete info here. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.